<laughs> yeah, it's okay with him. He didn't say anything. There's a mom who could swim with his job for gardens. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Excellent. Jim, I'm going to take a slight diversion. We will not actually miss anything. Oh, no. It's just a research the road. A lot of murals. Yeah. Sorry. I'm just noticing there's a lot of murals around. You yeah, know? you're visiting the world's biggest art gallery. There's about 3,200 murals within the province. You can actually study that as a course at university. Really? Really? It's murals in, you know, in West Belfast. Here, that is part of his degree. He's at university. Yeah. Well, it's, it's artwork that actually means something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'll have a bit of tagging as well. <laughs> oh, I saw yeah, that. well, yeah. it's everywhere. It yeah. We apologize. Everywhere. <laughs> Began in our country. Are you busy today? Yeah. Hey, you are, yeah. I. Big guy, or I was slagging down the wall. Paddy, he works for us. That's big Paddy. Is that Paddy? Oh no, which one is the one that I was? Yeah, I was emailing then. He emailed me. I emailed you. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's a name I remember, Paul. Are you getting it again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, Katie's Katie. Katie's getting quite an education today because she didn't know much about this stuff. Yeah. Up here in the wall, we have Bobby Sands. Bobby Sands was OC, officer in command of the IRA prisoners in the TO back in 1981, when the blanket protest escalated into the hunger strike. At the time, Maggie Thatcher had a blanket ban in the press. No one was to know about this hunger strike. Now to overcome this blanket ban, when a by-election came up in Fermanagh, South Tyrone, they put Bobby Sands up for election to the Houses of Parliament from within the TO. And he won that election in April of 1981 by 30,000 votes. That was more votes than Maggie Thatcher had got herself for Finchley. So he was elected in April of 1981, and he died on the 5th of May 1981, aged 27, after 66 days on hunger strike. And he was the first of 10 men to die on the hunger strike. The last man died in August of 1981, a fella called Mickey Devine. And whenever Mickey died, the British press published that the mothers of the remaining hunger strikers had in fact removed their sons from the hunger strike, and this is why it ended. But this wasn't true. What actually had happened was, Maggie Thatcher had granted these men a thing known as special category status. Under special category status, they got everything they were entitled to under political status, but by a different name. She just wouldn't use the word political prisoner. Now Bobby Sands is painted on the side of the Sinn Féin office for Belfast. Sinn Féin is of course the political wing of the IRA and it's their leader's office, a man called Jerry Adams. Okay? Oh, Jerry. So that's where we're going to go to now. We're going to go round to the office. Come on ahead. Come on ahead. Oh, we'll come next. Where did you not know I was going to carry down with his office? I'm working around here tonight. Why is that? You think about it. Really? Help me. Did I tell you any of this in world history? No. no. Oh, her? No, her. Sorry, her. no, I only had one semester of world history and um, we only went as far as like... Over here, please. Okay. On the 4th of February 1992, a policeman dressed in plain clothes, carrying a camera around his neck so he looked like a journalist, pressed the buzzer on the door here and was admitted inside. Whenever he got inside the building, he pulled out a sawn-off shotgun. And he killed these three men. Michael O'Dwyer, Paddy Lachlan, and Pat McBride. Okay? The next guy here is a guy called Pat Bragg McGill. Bragg McGill is known locally as the 11th hunger striker. 
after 50 days on hunger strike, he fell into a coma. He was removed from the hunger strike because it ended in August of 1981, and they nursed him back to health. About 15 years after being released from jail, he died. Say he died at such a premature age due to the damage he had caused his internal organs from the 50-day hunger strike. Okay, come ahead up here. This lady here is Mary Drum. Mary Drum was the vice president of Sinn Féin. Back in 1976, while recovering from an operation in a hospital here in the city, two gunmen, dressed as doctors, walked into the hospital and shot her dead as she lay in the bed, simply because she was the vice president of a political organization, Sinn Féin. Point out that Sinn Féin, translated from Gaelic into English, means we ourselves, or us alone. Bobby Sands is the most photographed mural in the world. You folks would like to get a photograph, now's the time to do it. Okay? Look at them, you're all smart. I said, you know what you mean? 